Following the Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say, less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful, would probably be the best word to use as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this afternoon. We actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates. And as soon as they got inside the home, one of the things that first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there. Now, they did take a couple people into custody. We witnessed that. Now, are they under arrest? Are they just being uh, asked about what they know? That I can't answer, but I can tell you there's three people right there that were taken into custody were, were inside that home at the time of the raid. We did see a bunch of investigators going in, making the raid in there and clearing that as well. So they're going to do a thorough search as they conduct this raid. And so far, Stu, from what I understand and from Haley on the ground there, they have not seen and we have not seen from our vantage point any sign of Sean Combs, the 54-year-old who is believed to be the property owner of this. Following the Department of Homeland Security. Salute squad, we got breaking news. Diddy's Los Angeles and Miami homes are being raided as we speak for the past hour now. They've been being raided by the feds. So stuff done hit the fan, bro. Whoever was protecting this man, they ain't protecting him no more. Or, or guys, this is probably just their public display of an investigation so that we can leave this man alone and then he can get back to being the devil that he is. In any event, we here to we here to see. So let's get straight on into the live live coverage, guys. Those heavily armored uh, gear and equipment. I don't think they're actually searching for any items that could connect uh, whatever the investigation is. I would venture to say that those are going to be the guys that you're seeing right there, and they're waiting for that all clear. And then this group that you see there, those are the ones that are actually going to go inside. They probably have, like you said, they probably have ideas where what they're looking for, where they might be. So, But right now, it is still a, wait, a waiting game to make sure that everybody is out of this building and that it is secure for the uh, for the investigators to make their way in. And now the funny thing, guys, is they went to that back house. That was the first place they went to, that back house that Krishan was yapping about. Remember Krishan when she was telling us how the dudes from um Zeus, the dudes from Zeus Network, how they didn't want to pay him and Diddy yoked them up in front of her and it, all that happened in that back house. See, this is why you got to be careful what you say out your mouth because sometimes you can be dry snitching by giving people credit or giving people what you call props and clout clout clouting up for somebody is dry snitching because the same way you tell the people what you saw that was spectacular is the same way the cops going to hear that story and actually start that search now, we should mention, thank you, Stu, that uh, if this is, in fact, involving a sex trafficking investigation, we do know that, according to Diddy's attorneys and the rapper himself, he has denied any wrongdoing in any of all this. So uh, there are two sides, of course, to this as this all plays out. But it is interesting that these raids happening at the same time, according to TMZ, a raid of his Miami home is happening right now, as well as now we're looking at the live 
pictures of what's going on in Holmby Hills at this mansion right here, all connected to Sean Combs. So again, until we find out further word as to what exactly they're searching for and why, uh, we continue to look at the procedures taking place Regarding this raid that's being conducted by Homeland Security, you have support from local law enforcement officials as well. We saw from the ground shots, you see multiple agencies there, a part of all of this, and uh, they have a number of resources on hand with a drone flying up top, as well as they had ladders taking uh, a closer look at certain parts of the property. And so they are looking at every nook and cranny they need to in terms of why they're investigating uh, this home and property. So clearly this is going to take a while. And as Haley mentioned, with her shot down on the ground right there, more people are coming to your area, Haley. Yeah, I would say it's mostly media at this point. We were uh, the first ones here on scene. But yeah, since there's probably a dozen different uh, media agencies. Yeah, it looks like his, uh, his homes on both coasts are being raided. We still have not gotten word on exactly where P. Diddy is, if he is in fact in New York right now or in Los Angeles. And uh, of course, yeah, we, we haven't. That boy P. P. Diddy on the phone with your boy Russell Simmons as we speak. That boy P. Diddy getting his passport printed up right now. <laughs> if he knew what I knew. But he ain't in New York. Seeing him here in Holmby Hills. This is right off of Sunset and Beverly Glen. And it all unfolded, I'd say, about 30 minutes ago. Uh, they're at his home here. They're also at his home in Miami. Of course, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit calmer, I would say, than it was about 20 minutes ago when it all happened. Uh, the, the guns that were drawn earlier have been since put away. They looks like they just put away their drone, but of course doing a thorough job of checking the home for any kind of details that they can come up with related to this uh, these allegations against sex trafficking. As you said, Sandra, there's several lawsuits against him for uh, these allegations, all of which he has denied. Uh, so we will have to wait and see, of course, uh, and everybody's interested in the details of, of what um, how he's connected um, to to these latest allegations. And from your so vantage we'll point, the very latest is, I'm sorry. Yeah, from your vantage point, Haley, does it look? Like I'm gonna keep it real with you, man, Baby Lane. I'm gonna keep it real with you. From the as soon as I would have paid the bitch, I would have got out of here. I wouldn't have been sitting around because honestly, guys, this goes to show you that that last dude, that man, that man. I forgot his name, but that man that came out on Diddy, this is this is this is that. Cassie ain't do all this. That dude that said Diddy did what he did to him, that the one that worked on that Brother Love album, that dude right here, man, powerful. Like some authorities are leaving this the scene right now. They're they're done, or not is that not the case? No, it looks like more are coming. Um, I think what you're seeing is just the vehicles moving to a different location. We're kind of at the bottom of the hill, but if you go up a little bit farther, some of the vehicles that you saw down here earlier have since uh, kind of gone to the other side of the hill. This is obviously a very prestigious neighborhood. Uh, I said earlier, Humphrey Bogart's former house, I think is next door to P. Diddy's uh, in the 200 block here of Mapleton and Holmby Hills off of Sunset near uh, Beverly Glen. Um, so the vehicles have basically just moved forward. You're seeing a lot more of those uh, law enforcement officers from the Department of Homeland Security, though, back here on the street in Mapleton since uh, they've come out of the home after they've done their thorough investigating inside um, that beautiful home belonging to P. Diddy, to Sean Combs. So I don't think they have any intention, Sandra, on going anywhere anytime soon. And overhead, you can see uh, law enforcement helicopters and, of course, Stu up there in Sky Fox. Thank you so much, Haley, for that perspective on the ground right there in front of that Holmby Hills mansion. Stu up in Sky Fox, it looks like, yes, there are some more law enforcement, but in different attire. I shall should I say suits in, instead of body armor?
Definitely, and and, the, and you know, and we all know how that works. The suits are going to be the investigators and probably the, uh, the the ones that are running the show. And again, I still think that they are just waiting for that uh, green light for them to be allowed to make their way inside the property and to make their way to the areas that I would venture to say that they probably are pretty specific. I don't think they're just going in randomly. And again, this is just a, a guess. They, you know, I don't think they're going in randomly, just going through you know everybody's stuff inside there. They probably have an area that they know oh gee for real right and they but they they woke puff up on the warning right puff was like who the fuck is this paging me at <laughs> that boy 4 4 46 in the afternoon <laughs> oh man did he god damn guys this is why i tell you get your money legit get your money legit because all that balling all that balling ends up with a day like this you know that boy's puff sweating bullets, boy. That boy puff sweating bullets. That boy puff giving money away and shit. That boy, he praying. Motherfuckers go to church then. Motherfuckers go to, they know God now. <laughs> All that demonic shit he portrayed, but a motherfucker know God now. Nigga, God, please, God, please make this go away. I'll never do it again. You know how you get drunk and shit? And you be you be in the hangover mode and you be over the toilet. You be like, God, I never drink like that. And you're lying. Next Friday come and you're drunk again. No, or in an office that they're going to be looking into or some computers that they might want to physically get their hands on. And that's what they're waiting for right now to make their way inside this property. This, like you said, very beautiful home out there in the Homely Hills area. And they just waiting to get the all clear to allow them inside. While these, uh, while these officers that we see right there in the tactical gear, well, their job is to make sure that everything is safe for them to go in. Now, they don't probably... It, it, and again, I just want to be clear. It's like nobody's thinking that there's booby traps or some kind of sniper inside the home. That's not what they're thinking at all. It's probably more along the lines of they want to make sure that everybody is outside of the home because they don't want to have somebody stepping out or coming out later on and, you know, surprising or catching people off guard. That's not what they want. And right now you can see like like the like. Uh, Sandra, uh, you've been saying there's a large number of people out here. I would venture to say, as far as the officers go, I would probably put this group closer to 100, not just what we're seeing right here. This is just one group of many that have made their way out here to this Homely Hills area. And as far as the suits that we were talking about, that's part of the group right there. But there's some other ones as well, younger ones that were leading, basically leading the charge. And they, they that's them right there, actually. They, they perfect timing and it looks like they're making their way over towards the home they might be the first ones to make their way in to to start that investigation process or f figure out where we're going to look what we're looking for and then later on the uh, suits will make their way in as well but this it like you said is going to be a very long process out here and this is just the very very beginning yo this got lbgtq written all over it bro i tell you they ain't care when it was that heterosexual trafficking they only they only acted when that man came out when that man outed puff shit crazy shit crazy because that's that and what's funny to me is puff was gonna fight that that was the one puff was gonna fight he ain't mind paying cassie but he was fitting to fight that one and brother said oh yeah you not gonna give me 30 million sick the dogs on him bro damn sure did sick the curly hats on him and it sucks bro that's why I say, guys, either this is just a cap for us so we can stop flooding our timeline with P. Diddy stories, or they done gave up on this nigga. And Jay-Z, yo ass next, boy. I'm a t You think Puff Daddy gonna li take this lying down? You's a fool. <laughs> a lot of y'all niggas fitting to get blown up. Blown up. Cat Williams said, he sat there on that Club Shay Shay couch, and he said, it's up. You go back and play. He said, it's up. Everybody going down. And the folks that they had taken into custody, they've moved them out of the area right now. And again, wouldn't say that they are arrested. We don't know that for a fact. They took them into custody. A few of them still had cuffs on. Some of them didn't. So maybe this was a division of, you know, these are people that we know work here. These are people that may be associated uh, with Sean Combs. I'm glad you mentioned that name right there, KDH, because that is definitely the white devil, and they got our black devil. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Because uh, if 
if memory served me correct, Puff Daddy got it first, then Vince's story came out next. So since Puff Daddy got rated first, Vince McMahon, you should be next, buddy. You should be next. <laughs> yes, sir. So, or Bad Boy Entertainment. So it, it, it's one of those type of situations. And until they know who they are, they're just going to keep them in custody and possibly just let them go later on. And I don't believe the word arrested has been used out here as of yet. But again, still very active situation. And of course, that is a huge house. And they've got a lot of rooms to clear before they allow those investigators in. Yeah, we talk about the process of bringing this many law enforcement officials to the scene to have a raid like this and conduct a raid and make entry into a Holmby Hills mansion that's owned by a prominent celebrity and their business. So clearly, this is something that doesn't happen just overnight. Law enforcement officials do have to have their evidence ready. They have to make sure every T is crossed in order to make entry into a home like this for an investigation. So when we talk about and see these kinds of raids happen or having them be conducted it, it kind of shows that they do have enough evidence that they're in yo in pure english guys in our lingo they already know these dudes is not going to spend resources federal resources unless they going in for the kill <laughs> unless they know you know what i mean now i do find it strange like because this is um s trafficking right what are y'all looking for are y'all going in there with the blue light are y'all looking for semen stains like what the fuck are y'all looking for are y'all looking for dna what <laughs> like what letters or something but i tell you something when you got 50 cents snitching when you got cat williams snitching when you got cassie the other boys snitching, you got all these motherfucking snitches they got a lot of intel bro they got a lot of intel so they gonna go right to the source investigation is to a certain point where they have made a search warrant and they've gotten all of the evidence they need to have a search warrant that they have to establish that a crime was possibly committed and there's evidence of probable cause and a crime that has taken place. So all of these things, they have to meet a threshold before law enforcement can just come together like this and approach a property and make entry. So we're seeing- And you're right, Lane. That's why we're gonna watch close. Us truth tellers, us truth tellers and us critical thinkers, we're gonna watch close because they're not to confirm what we already know. Now what I mean we just want confirmation so that we don't be assuming, even though we know, we know, but it's always good to get that confirmation confirmation. So watch, we're gonna keep a close eye on that shit. We're gonna cause you're right, bro. You know it. You know it. You you already know that when his when when, when his wife Linda. She 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 gets to run for Congress and shit, and it's just all sorts of shit. He got ties to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is in his Hall of Fame. So we know what time it is. We know it's a motherfucking black man can't win the title, the world title, but uh, presidents and all types of dumb shit could go into your Hall of Fame. Yeah, we get it. Seeing that here at Holmby Hills and also in Miami, where they are searching Sean Combs' Miami home as well. So again, this doesn't just happen overnight. This is a process that they've been working on for quite some time to make sure that they have enough evidence to be able to conduct a raid like this, especially with so many law enforcement agencies involved, investigators involved, and you see just personnel involved on location right there. And you do see a number of people. This is going to be an active situation for quite some time again we don't know what they're looking for we don't know what the interest is right now we can uh, only presume that it is part of a sex trafficking investigation uh, those are um, multiple lawsuits that sean combs have been facing this year alone allegations that he denies but clearly this could be all part of the process here but again law enforcement does just not go in willy-nilly into a home and conduct a raid like this unless they get the necessary evidence they need to get that search warrant to acquire entry as well so if we could take a look from haley's point of view it does seem like there are more individuals gearing up or maybe more investigators on the scene uh, from the ground there haley 
Hey, Sandra. Yes, we're actually trying to get an interview lined up, obviously, live with the Department of Homeland Security. We had a lady come down here just a minute ago and give her card. So trying to contact her so we can, of course, get some official details from her because everything that we're getting is basically behind the scenes from our law enforcement uh, sources here. So basically, we don't have anything new yet. We're still just waiting to kind of figure out exactly what happened. We know, of course, P. Diddy's homes on both coasts have been raided. Uh, you can see some more uh, officers coming uh, coming out of his property right now. Just trying to see if I could see the lady who um, we're hoping to get the interview with. And she um, she's just messaging me back. So I've got to send her an email for the request first. So we're working on okay. that to get you some more details. But <laughs> yeah, it's still, uh, still very active on scene. Just more and more vehicles showing up. This is largely most of the law enforcement officers here, Sandra, are, of course, the Department of Homeland Security. And then we also have LASD and LAPD here as well. So All as right, soon as I can get anything official on camera, we'll come back. Uh, we'll come back and let you know. Definitely. I know what it's like on the ground right there. You're dealing with a lot of officials trying to get some answers, trying to talk to people. And of course, it is very difficult to do two things at once. So we will let you uh, get to work right there on the ground. Let's go up to Stu again. As I was mentioning the procedure of this, and you've covered so many of these types of stories, you've been overhead when these raids have happened. This isn't a process that just happens overnight. Clearly, they are looking for something. They have enough evidence. And and they were able to get a search warrant before they could even do or conduct a raid like this. Oh, you definitely, as Sandra, and what you're talking about really kind of shows exactly what you're trying to point out, that this didn't just happen overnight. This wasn't just a, an accusation and they came and, you know, knocked down the doors and started tearing up the house. This was something that's an ongoing investigation. Lawyers, dep attorneys, and uh, district attorneys, they all have to sign off on this. They have to look this over. Judges have to make that decision as well. And nobody wants to be on the end of a, of a wrongful uh, seizure. So, the, of course, they needed to show evidence that there is a reason for this type of force and a force. Exactly. That's the game. The name of the game is cat and mouse. It's cat and mouse. I mean, the cat not going to make the move on the mouse unless it's absolutely certain it got it. For these officers to make their way into this home. And then again, of course, the, the, the world we live in today, all of these officers that are showing up, they all know that, you know, we are under there. Everybody's under a watchful eye nowadays. So they made every effort to do this as quickly and as uh, less destructive as possible. We watched them uh, trying to get through one of those side gates. That pedestrian <laughs> gate was giving them a little bit of an issue. But in the end, they got in there. And after that, they made their way in very quickly quickly we didn't see any doors being smashed or things getting kicked in it was basically a lot of opening up and just letting uh, that garage door somebody got in there and they opened up that garage door and or possibly the people inside were curious what was going on and they opened up that garage door but again a lot the forceful entry part of it it really truly was just in a little bit here in that side gate everything else was very quick and and uh and with etiquette would be the best way to say it actually yeah. <laughs> they went in and they just did what they needed to do and again the, the reason why they're still there i i can tell you it's it's not like uh it's not like a television show where they're <laughs> pulling out drawers and dumping out clothes and just trashing the place they just want to make sure that there are no other people inside that building that may still be scared hiding or having a problem and that as soon as that word is given which i'm sure is going to come shortly because we already saw a couple of the, the groups make great point great point got two quick questions real quick toxic wing says i've noticed they keep saying this has not been going on overnight you peep it right you peep it this is an ongoing investigation and Mr. Approach, he says, this is the fall of Lucifer, Mr. Gabriel. You is absolutely right. You follow the template. That's our basic instruction. And it says, don't be running around here walking in pride. Don't be egotistical. Because those are all of the things that had Lucifer fall from greatness. But that's the white man Bible, so they say. You know what I mean? So they say. <laughs> but you see the shit that be going on, and you can match it. Match the templates. The most beautifulest angel, Puff Daddy. That nigga Puffy was living on. He right, Puffy. Anybody would have switched lives with Puff Daddy in a motherfucking minute. Don't lie. I mean, the most beautifulest angel. And look, fall because they think they God. 
They think they are the God. Nope. Making their way in. Less armed. So they're making their way in. They're going to start looking for. Then, of course, even in that the warrant, they're going to have a list of things that they are able to look at, able to take. It isn't just a random search. They actually have to go in and actually find things that they believe have information or evidence that could create an, a, a, a guilty or innocent uh, situation for Sean Combs. So at any rate, this is still very ongoing, very preliminary. But again, we do see a large force out there, which like you're trying to say or what I believe you did say is that this is a warranted search, and of course, uh, they are here, and they are definitely looking for specific pieces of information. What they are, we don't know. We may never know, but uh, right now, that search is definitely ongoing. Yeah, you, you said it. I mean, we've covered so many of these different types of raids. Obviously, not always at a celebrity mansion like this in Holmby Hills, uh, but clearly, sometimes you see them having to forcefully enter a property. You know what they're looking for? They're looking for videotapes. They're looking for video. They're looking for video. They just need the video. They just need the video of them freak-offs. They get one freak-off and it's up. They get one freak-off and it's going to connect to what everybody got in their little indictments. ...and sees evidence and it doesn't always go so smoothly. And it was, in fact, very smooth the way they gained en entry into this property. and. Uh, after they figured out that side entrance, uh, they were able to make entry. But it, it's not like they see they do they show in the movies, as you mentioned, Stu. Right? They weren't battering yeah. down uh, doors and uh, destroying property. Uh, this is very methodical. And in terms of many stories we've covered like this, it was a very easy entry, and they were able to access the property and get on on site. So uh, clearly. Uh, they're ready for anything, um, whatever they're going to be met with, you, you don't know. And that is why they make sure that they are safe in numbers, that they're armored. And and that is why you see such a big force out there, because you never know what kind of emotion you're going to be met with. Definitely. And, and emotion is really what plays a lot of it. And that's one of the things that we were talking about is, you know, right now, th that was the gate that where they were having all that trouble. They're actually looking at that actual door and uh, propping it open. But that was the, the door that was giving them trouble. And we were trying to, I was trying to figure out if that is actually maybe like a private entrance for that back house. It does actually look like it. It seems like, you know, if you're staying yeah, that's that back house Chris Sean Rock was talking about. That's the back house that, that I guess to go down back there because that's where he roughed up the guy from Zeus. There, that's how you get in and out without going through the actual house itself. But you can see they still have uh, personnel there on scene. Every every house, there's three properties that I would say on this big piece of property. They all have uh, some some sort of uh, somebody there, just making sure that there isn't anything being taken or anything moving in and out, and or another person in that area. But that main house, there's still a number of folks uh, that do, like armored. Uh, personnel that we've seen go in have, have not seen come out but there's some of those uh, ones that are not wearing the gear and those are the that first group that made their way in they were here originally they came with the uh, with the armored trucks they did not make their way into the property they waited outside and now they are actually making their way to that front door which shows you that it, their progress is being made and of course we were keep keeping an eye on the uh, as we call them and it is what they are. The suits down there, I'm sure those are the ones that are pretty much running the show or where all the evidence is going to go to in the end. They are still outside, so that shows you that uh, they're going to be waiting. I would venture to say when they find something, those are the guys that are going to make their way in and actually looking at and uh, taking things from this home. But right now, that's still that process, I wouldn't even think has actually even started. Yeah, absolutely. And it's going to take a lot of time. That is a huge mansion to be begin with and then it depends on what they're looking for it could be as small as a hard drive or as big as boxes exactly. and boxes full of evidence or information they're trying to collect and gather and where word well in any event guys we're gonna come right back to that don't worry don't go nowhere i just want to let y'all i just want to put y'all on i just want to want to put y'all on the how they're gonna be searching forever this is a big ass crib this man got a big ass crib y'all <laughs> You know what I mean? I want to pull up something because I found that it was key. Like, this was one of the most damaging, damaging pieces of evidence 
And I know if they got their hands on it, oh man, this was crazy right here. What's up, guys? Welcome to another Clutch Right video. And today, got Christian Rock. They went live a few hours ago talking about um, a story within her and to give her a right about it. And uh... day, bro. So I set a price. Y'all ever play with that girl ever again? Talking about me. Like, don't ever play with her. Like, chill up that day. When we was at the party, he grabbed me. <laughs> He grabbed let me by his collar. It was like, don't ever play with that girl ever again. Talking about me. Like, don't ever play with her. Like, like, no, you'll play with their budget, play with talent. Like, y'all playing with me, my. Like, I will never forget that motherfucking day, bro. So, I set a price. I said 200000 You said 100 I said 150 I'm not going underneath that. Because, what? I'm about to bring a lot to the table. I'm about to go up against. Who I'm about to go up against? I'm dead. I'll never forget that. That little party I went to. Diddy party. We went to the uh, little private area. Behind the, uh, because he had a house behind his house. You see how people be dry snitching, guys? You see how he had a house behind the house. That's the house that they trying to get to right now. But you see how people be dry snitching? And they think they get they think they giving you shout out. They think they're giving you clout. Behind the uh because he had a house behind his house. Like he had a house, a backyard with a his backyard with a fat big, and then it had like a miniature little or whatever. And then we me and Lemmy go upstairs, they tell him that he can't break his security. He went in like a little bitch with a, no security, so it's just me and Lemmy. We go up in there. Hold on, we go up in there. <laughs> we go upstairs. He like, what's up, Diddy? Um, you know, you, you met Krishan. Uh, you uh gave her kisses on the cheek. Uh, early, early on in the party or whatever. Uh, we just wanted to follow up. Uh, I'm glad that you, you Sean. And then he grabbed Lenny by his neck. It was like, but do you fuck <laughs> with her? Like, don't play with her. All she need is love. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. And I didn't understand that till. My checks start coming back short. You understood it. You understood it. You relate to violence. You love that violence shit, but you just snitched on Puff right there. Hard body too. You just painted him out as the violent, aggressive, manipulative entrepreneur that he is. You just painted out everything that's in them indictments, sis. From the subscriptions of Crazy in Love till he started putting people like personally putting people that doesn't for me that i had like street beef with on the show um where's the security at when all them people throwing at like it was just like come on yo you playing you playing you the and i'm i'm so happy i ain't like you got jacked up for that shit already so fuck you fuck y'all I'm not finna be playing with this entertainment industry and, and be doing it for y'all. All right, guys, I just had to point that out, but you heard Krishan. You know what I mean? She went to the back of the house. It was a he had a house in the back of the house and all this and all that and just dry snitching. Just dry snitching. Let's get back. Let's get back to the raid. information is is also the tricky part i mean think about going into a stranger's home you don't know where they put things and so it could be very hidden it so this whole process uh it could take a lot of time go get Krishan and give her 150 give her 200 and she'll show you and tell she'll tell you everything give her get her a, a casamigo give her a bottle of casamigos and go get Krishan and she gonna say she's gonna take you to everything you need in terms of them finding what they made entry for. So this is a methodical 
lengthy process. And again, this is taking place right here in Holmby Hills, as well as his Miami home. And I'm sure law enforcement officials from both sides in Miami and LA are certainly talking to each other as they go through this as well. But still no sign of Sean Combs himself. We don't know where he is. Uh, it's not clear if they're looking for him. He may be in New York, as Haley was mentioning on the ground there. But uh, clearly, uh, this was in all a very peaceful raid as they made entry and right now as they are making their way in and out of the property as they conduct their search. But a search that is just beginning as you see those suits, the investigators uh, taking their time, making sure everything is done properly and methodically in terms of what they're looking for at this point. Again, we have a lot of questions that we just don't know the answer. That's a fact. How you get it is how you lose it. So get it correct. Get it correct, guys. Slow dough is better than no dough. Because fast dough will cost you your ass, yo. Facts. Answers to at this point. We do have someone on the line right now, Hal Kempfer. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, if you can make light of what we're looking at in terms of Homeland Security making entry into the Holmby Hills mansion of Sean Combs. Uh, Sandra, this is a Homeland Security investigations that uh, appears to be on site. Uh, what you know, they love it. They love it when they could pull one of us over. Cause we ain't supposed to have the things that we have. We just got to start learning how to not use each other to get these things so we can keep these things. Because if we get these things off the back of our 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 own, we're not going to be able to keep them, guys. We not. We not. And that's the problem with us. We always blocking our own blessings because we be too greedy and we climb off the other one back. That crab in the barrel shit is really real. The crab in the barrel shit really real with us. It is. And these celebrities go all for guys because they take advantage of us. They take advantage of the poor people. And I'm not saying poor as in you broke, broke. I'm talking about, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. But they take advantage of us because they sell us on, a, on an agenda. We, 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 we go buy their music. We go buy their movies. We go buy whatever it is they selling us on. And we push them to the, to the, to the, to the, to the heavens. You know what I mean? We the ones that push them to the heavens off our back, off the poor people. And they don't do nothing for us, guys. We sit here and we talk all this. You know, Black Wall Street should have been built 15 times now, 15 times over. We should have no problem in the black community. We got nothing but millionaire athletes and 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 entertainers and, and, and Black Wall Street can't be built. Because we got the gangsters now also. We got the gangsters on the front line to make sure what happened back then, the story y'all going to want to run to, we got the front line gangsters now that's going to make sure that don't happen. Yeah. See, because we all, we all are useful. We all are useful. Even the pookies, you know what I mean? Even the pookies. the pookies going to be the one that protect our stuff. They the ones in the front line. We, we going to feed, they, they the front line homies. You know what I mean? But y'all want to sit here and bicker and battle with each other. All right. What they're probably looking for is, well, I should say in, in general, uh, they look at uh, human trafficking and uh, sex trafficking being a component of that. And of course, there's been uh, uh, some rather uh, big civil suit stuff that's taking taken place, but also the New York case uh, where the statute of limitations uh, basically had been rescinded uh, allowing them to look back many years in this case. Uh, part of it was there's a, there have been uh, allegations that uh, that he was drugging uh, young women, uh, so that there was uh, you know which which you know certainly implies that it was rape uh, that had taken place at some at some point. Uh, but I think what HSI is probably looking at is the interstate aspects of it. If there was any online activity that could have taken place and uh and that's usually where hsi would have a jurisdictional interest homeland security investigations being part of the department of homeland security uh looking at the interstate side mostly online and whatever took place across state lines and of course you know he travels all over the place so uh i'm sure they're looking at him potentially transporting women uh around the country 
and uh, and whether that was tied to a larger criminal activity. Yeah, definitely. Now what y'all gonna do about these little, these single mothers that be transporting the babies all around, ripping these fathers off, fathers paying child support and still got to fight and scrap to see their kid and shit? Like, what, what, what y'all gonna do about that? Like, don't talk to me about sex trafficking. Indict this man because he got an evil spirit. All that other, sh all that other volunteer shit, you know what I mean? You need to lock them up too, but indict this man because he is Lucifer in the flesh. You don't got to create no narrative for that. You don't got to create no story. You don't got to um, tug on people's heartstrings. He's an evil man and he should be locked up. Catch him. <laughs> Homeland Security involved in any interstate, as you mentioned, and international uh, criminal activity here. So what exactly do you think everyone is looking for at this point? We saw such a, a large number of law enforcement make entry. Well, it, it's a combination of both uh, local uh, and federal. And it's, it, from what I local law enforcement has the specific lead at each one of these locations with the federal law invest uh, federal investigators coming in uh with them in concert what they're probably looking for is any evidence that they can gather uh certainly any images pictures uh video anything online i have no doubt that they're going in and and gathering up any electronic media to include uh any laptops uh any any uh flash drives anything uh that they that he might have that might support whatever allegations whatever reasonable suspicion that they have uh that led to this uh these search warrants you know they just to get a search warrant like this uh requires a a, a, a you know a rather rather uh, uh you know a certain substantial legal barrier has to be our legal argument or legal uh, uh litmus test has to be met just to get them to sign off particularly knowing with somebody with uh with means like this that if they go into their home they're gonna be met with some very capable lawyers on the defendant's part to uh, challenge what was ever done. And everything they do there is gonna be challenged. So you can imagine not only did they have to uh, work with the uh, district attorney and potentially assistant US attorneys in arranging this, but they also are being very careful on how they're gathering any evidence, realizing that just about everything they do on site uh, will potentially be challenged in court by his attorneys. Absolutely, and speaking of his attorneys, we did reach out for comment. We have not yet heard back. Obviously, we want to hear his side. Uh, for Sean Combs's part, he has denied any allegations regarding sex trafficking and any investigation into that. But yeah, this this could take a lot of time in terms of uh, collecting that hard flash drives and any computers they may find. Like I was mentioning before, Hal, it's it's very difficult to know where someone would have that or would hide that if they were trying to hide evidence. And we're looking at a big, big mansion here. Uh, before we get back to you, Hal, let's go to Haley on the ground there. Hey, Sandra, yes, we just got that statement from the Department of Homeland Security that I was trying to get for you guys about 10 minutes ago. It doesn't say a whole lot, but it says this is attributed to Homeland Security Investigations. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. Yo, these niggas be doing the most, man. They, they, do you see the, do you see the big ass truck fitting to pull up? These niggas be doing the most, man. <laughs> Guess you got to do your job. But we paying for this shit, y'all. Y'all, where this at? Where they at right now? It's the Los Angeles joint. Y'all niggas out there in Cali, y'all paying for this? Y'all paying for this fiasco? So nothing really that we haven't already told you uh, here on the scene on the ground. A lot of the law enforcement officers with Homeland Security have gone up the hill. You can see one of those big command vehicles coming out one of those police vehicles. In the meantime, behind us, several of his friends, they've identified themselves as have been trying to get through the crime scene to get to the house. But of course, LAPD not letting them through. We've tried to get comment from them on camera to find out if they have any more information about what's going on, but they haven't been able to, to uh, they don't want to provide us any information, I should say. Uh, and just in case you're just joining us, we have homes of P. Diddy being raided on both coasts, uh, Miami and his home here in Holmby Hills.
So Haley, just to clarify in that statement, did it men it didn't mention Sean Combs, correct? Or anything? It doesn't, but we <laughs> we have confirmation mm -hmm. from multiple law enforcement sources that this does involve Sean Combs or P. Diddy. Mm -hmm. But no, this statement, I'll read it one more time, says earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from both HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. All right. We'll provide further information as it becomes available. Of course, we're trying to get them to talk to us on camera, but they said, uh, the lady in particular who sent me the statement says she's not allowed to. Thank you so much. Yeah, not really clarifying a whole lot though, but clearly understandable because uh, right now, maybe they're not in position to divulge any more information. So let's bring in Hal Kemper here again from Homeland Security. Thank you so much for your expertise in all this. I don't know if you heard that statement, but didn't really say anything except that an investigation is underway in Miami and here. Uh, so clearly not stating who it involves or what the, the charges are. Uh, it doesn't, and they might be crime scenes. I should clarify, I'm not from Homeland Security, but I work in Homeland Security, and I've worked with Homeland Security investigations uh, uh, over many years. Uh, very. F and again, guys, you got to watch these shits, because what does Homeland Security got to do with this, though? Homeland Security. Last time I checked, that's for international affairs. That's for terrorists. You know what I mean? Like, the, the homeland is where the agendas come from. Yeah, I know that. That's the section of the government that controls the genders. That's the section of the government with the really lynch. You know that, right, guys? Don't be fooled now. Now, I mean, don't be fooled now. What the hell does Homeland Security got to be doing up in this man's crib? That's why I say either two things is happening here. Either the, the curly hats then gave up on this man because he got a big mouth and he don't know how to keep it quiet like Jay-Z. Or they fronting right now for us. This is a big show, and he nothing gonna happen. Remember, they just did this to our New York City mayor. They raided his little home and had it looking like a real big fiasco for nothing. Let's look over the. Let's look on the other side, cause say why they distracting us over here with this bullshit? What's going on in the world today, y'all? Yeah, somebody click off and go check the other other news and get the important stuff, cause clearly. This be this be the foolishness that they be having us attracted to, guys. This be the foolishness that they be having us attracted to. Familiar with uh, not only the agency but also uh, very very a lot of the individuals, a lot of the people who work there, to include here in Los Angeles, especially. Uh, what they're probably looking at are the two residences, one in New York, one in Los Angeles. Uh, without it, and and I I haven't seen. Uh, the documentation, but if it doesn't name um, uh, Sean Combs by name, it's probably, probably because there's been allegations that criminal activity had taken place uh, tied to sex trafficking at these locations. So what they're doing is they're looking at the locations themselves and investigating them as potential crime scenes. And of course, with that, I'm sure uh, the scope is such that they can look just about anywhere, uh, gather up any materials. Uh, they're probably gathering up any electronic materials. They're probably uh, doing things like imaging the place, uh, taking a lot of pictures and stuff that may be used later, uh, could be in reference to what uh, witnesses say uh, on the stand that they may look at, at various pictures of the locations themselves to help refresh their memory uh, while they're talking about various activities that may have taken place or, or alleged to have taken place. So there's a lot of reasons why they might not focus on him per se. Uh, also, uh, there's another thing too, is he runs a fairly large organization. It, you know, uh, the fact that they don't name him might mean that they're looking at other activities that could have taken place within his immediate, you know, entourage or his organization uh, that involve these properties. So uh, one can't rule. I know we watching the fall of Lucifer right now. Salute my guy, Nathaniel. We watching the fall of Lucifer right now in the flesh. This is Diddy. His house, both houses is getting raided. His Miami and LA home is being raided right now as we speak, guys. Rule out uh, anything at this point because we don't know a lot. Sure, and obviously this is just their statement to the press at this point. So what the actual legal documents say and what 
the statement they gave us is very, very different, let's be clear. So uh, we're sometimes, you know, not privy to all of those details and information until it becomes available at a later date. But uh, you were mentioning the whole search process. We are seeing so many law enforcement officials, investigators, and this is basically three properties on this entire, or three homes, I should say, buildings on this entire property in Holmby Hills we're talking about. How long is it going to take for them to go through it? Do they have a time limit? I mean, essentially, some people are going to come back into the home, right, at some point. So how does that all play out? I'm, I'm sure if you were to ask them, they'd say it's going to take as long as it takes. Mm. Uh, these are huge properties. Uh, you can imagine uh, looking through one home takes a, a lot of time. But when you have three very large buildings, uh, large buildings with a lot of different rooms, uh, various different levels on those homes. Uh, also, they're gonna be looking at every nook and cranny. They'll be looking uh, anything, you know, that, that's, you know, subsurface in the home. They'll be looking in uh, basically everywhere they can. They could be using a variety of sensor systems to find out if there's any, um, you know, hidden compartments, uh, safes, things like that, and walls that aren't readily apparent. Uh, there could be a lot of different things they're looking for. Uh, and, and, you know, they may have dogs there too, looking for various different things uh, as well, but they're probably looking for uh, more, more where stuff may be held, uh, I would imagine, uh, with that. And of course, anything tied to any of the allegations, we don't know, but uh, certainly the fact that they're there indicates that they probably had, um, you know, some, some witnesses say that certain things happened or certain things were there when they were there and they're probably trying to verify if those things are in fact there, if that, if that, what they were told is is correct. So there's there's probably just a lot of things that they're working through, checking off a list of stuff. And by the way, they may be looking on the grounds themselves. There could be stuff that's uh, uh, not necessarily in the buildings that are on the grounds. And of course, they'd be looking at that as well. Uh, I imagine it's gonna take quite time with a property this big for them to work through all of the uh, potential spaces and places where where materials could be. Thank you so much. We will have more on Fox 11 app. So if we get information, we'll once again. And now we resume to our original program. This is our family farm. Man, y'all, man, thank y'all for coming out. And we will keep y'all posted. We will keep y'all posted. Man, let's take some, let me read some of the comments. He said, you can bet the government as my pops us to tell me, get your money and get out and stop talking and showing off. Man, I, I swear, I, I, man, you hit it, you hit it, you hit it. They shutting all black men with a lot of money down. They putting them all behind bars. I see that, yo, because they're afraid because they see what we don't see. We can rebuild Black Wall Street. We have, we can be, we, you know what? I see what they're doing. Cause the athletes that I was telling you about, them dudes all like a certain particular type of woman, right? And all those women end up getting them dudes for child support, alimony, right? So this is why we, this is why we can't build now. We don't see how we could, man, it's unbelievable. Guys, man, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. This shit just making me mad. This shit just making me mad, yo. Know what I mean? It should get me mad, bro. Nah, but we can't big up the Tupac because Tupac have, was part of the programming too. Tupac, what if Tupac wasn't here, he'd be in the same position as Puff. Remember, Puff Daddy, influence-wise, I'm talking about, guys. Puff Daddy just took the reins. He took the, 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 the baton from Diddy, I mean, from from Tupac. Tupac got all of our little, uh, all of our little, a little generation of men talking about thug life, thug life, thug life. So it's all in the programming. It's all in the programming. You know what I mean? Tupac is no different from P Diddy. And if you really want to be technical, I think P Diddy saw the influence that Tupac had, and P Diddy the one that said, "I'll knock him off and I'll take the influence." But there's, they all work for the devil. They're all little demons. Every single name you can sit here and, and spew. If they're entertainer, if they took checks from the white man, if they called themselves telling a black story on a white man's platform, then they are the demon. 
they are the demon, guys. But um, y'all wrap up, strap up, drink responsibly. Do not play with your life, guys. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all later.